So Tour Inspired looks great feel. That's what these two irons are providing. And we're gonna put them head to head in this particular video. So the two irons I'm referring to is the Titleist T100S iron, forged, beautiful looking golf club, very small, compact head, but some uh, technology happening underneath the bonnet. And then putting that up against the brand new Mizuno Pro 223 iron, again, great looking club with some tech under the bonnet as well so we're going to just discuss a little bit of that what these two irons are offering what type of golf are these are really aimed at and obviously maybe some differences between performance and looks and feel my personal thoughts on these two irons against each other okay so we're going to kick things off with the titleist t100s so the s basically stands for that strong loft so T100 is 34 degree loft in that 7 iron. The T100S, which I've got in my hands, is 32 degrees, so it's two degrees stronger. The reason I've pitched that up against the 223 is because the lofts are exactly the same, 32 degrees as well on that 7 iron in the 223. So, first instincts, as we always do, looking back behind that golf ball, and this is a very sort of squat, compact head from the from Titleist, you know, short blade length. It's very much, you know, if somebody gave you that and you didn't know what it was, just popped it in that plane position, you'd be thinking, this is a bladed iron, you know, it is pretty sleek very sort of thinnish top line very little offset as i say it's compact behind that head maybe the disadvantage is that possibly for some reason maybe it's just a bit a little bit intimidating with the size possibly you know maybe not providing a lot of confidence maybe with you know room for error in a way okay and there's a really good feeling golf club. i didn't catch that perfect either by any means so as I say, lost 32 degrees, so a little bit stronger than the traditional lofting, but we've got some technology happening under the bonnet, haven't we? So take a look at that T100S. It looks very sort of sleek from behind, very sort of quite plainish. I've got a little bit of cavity there, but we've got a little slot in, in the back of it and it's actually filled in, but there's a slot in there. So again, that's just helping with redistributing weight out of that slot re-put it into somewhere another part of the club head to really precisely position that CG location. Consistency is what they're sort of looking at there. Consistency that launch, spin, and speed off that club face. Obviously, the slot is also just helping with a little bit of flexing behind the club face. So potentially just trying to keep that ball speed up a little bit more. Okay, that's a better strike. Felt a bit better off the club face, a little bit more ball speed because of that. Nice launch and that spin around that sort of 6,000 mark, which is probably quite typical, I would say, for that 32 degree lofty golf club. Now, the other thing that's sort of happening in T100S is we've got some tungsten, and the tungsten is split now, so we've got a chunk in the low toe and a chunk in the low heel split away from the middle, so obviously that's going to help tungsten being a heavy material help to stabilize the the club face a little bit again it's those off center hits they're trying to aim at here and keeping that ball speed up but also less of that twisted higher moi but obviously with the tungsten being low again it's pulling that cg down in that club face again just helps with things like launching the ball and again that forgiveness that was a nice strike that's the best shot that beautiful ball flight it's not a massively powerful flight off that club face. It does absolutely fly off. It does look like you've got that control in that area. See, 170, so it's not a huge distance. Obviously, a little bit more spin on that particular shot, which we know if a little bit more spin isn't going to equate to as much distance. But obviously, then the, the, the advantage of that is then you've got the control, haven't you? And that's probably what the type of golf this is going to be aimed at, is wanting to see that control a little bit more hitting into that green. Um, so, you know, who's T100S really sort of aimed at? Probably that sort of maybe sort of low teens into single figures, scratch golfers will probably be using this. You've seen sometimes the professionals using this club, even though it's that slightly stronger loft. You know, it is compact there. You've got to be a, probably a fairly decent ball striker there. Obviously, it's a bit more forgiveness than this against the, the pure MB of the blade. That's a good shot. But if you're the type of golf who's a fairly consistent ball striker, then there's no reason why you couldn't be using something like T100S. As long as you know you, you, you've got that confidence when you pop it down that ball, you know that more compact head. If that doesn't phase you and you're a fairly decent ball striker, very good option. Obviously, forged head, you get that beautiful feel off the club face. Oh, there you go. There's a little bit of a healy one. Touch pulley. I feel that and get the feedback, but the flight looks pretty good. Ball speed doesn't look bad there considering that little strike from me. 
the spins there and there that carry 173 so haven't had a bigger drop off there from that slight miss hit right so switching over to the mizuno pro 223 so obviously we've just seen the launch of the mizuno pro irons the 221 the full muscle back the 223 which we have in our hands and the 225 which is the hollow uh, construction so i've done a recent video on this and, and for me this is probably going to be i think one of the popular ones out of those three i think the 225 is going to be obviously very popular as well but i think the 223 just offers that bit more of that real tour inspired sort of looks and um, but you've also as i say you've got that bit of technology under that bonnet you know what we're obviously going to talk about so first instincts again behind that golf ball i'm obviously going to compare this now to the tightest and straight away there we have a slightly longer blade length let's just pop these two side by side yeah and a very noticeable different head size much bigger in comparison to that t100s as i said the 100 is very compact it's very sleek this is, okay, it's a beautiful shape it looks fantastic it's got a slightly thicker top edge in regards to in comparison to the tightest definitely a longer blade length there little bit of offset but literally a little bit but a really nice shape head on that iron so Mizuno sort of said this is very much like trying to get that tour inspired shape obviously pack it with some some forgiveness and power so as I say 7-9 again 32 degrees of loft shafts are exactly the same as the tightest made up the same oh that feels fantastic as well you know it's that forged head we're going to get that really good acoustics the sound the feel off that club face yeah very similar numbers there to be honest i'm probably gonna see something very similar i don't think it's going to be massive dif well there isn't going to be massive differences between these two at the end of the day the same loss they're pretty much providing a similar sort of ball speed are they doing it in, in very similar ways as well because in the mizuno we've also got that micro slot similar to the tightest there that's sort of hid we don't see it sort of hid inside and that happens in them long irons up to the seven iron obviously i've got the seven iron here as you work into that eight nine and short irons then we'll, the slot is lost because maybe don't really need the ball speed it's more about that sort of playability and feel of those short irons okay that's a touch low in the face but again that's done nicely get the feedback there as you're going to see it's that launch there and we I've got what's that spin here? Six two consistent again. Not a lot of drop off. That was a slight little miss hit, and that's the beauty with these sort of irons. And for me, where these types of irons tend to be quite popular because you're getting a little bit of best of both worlds, aren't you? You're getting some fantastic looks and that desirable players look in a way that a lot of golfers obviously look at a golf club and go, oh my word, that looks absolutely stunning. But then they just they can't use it because it's a blade and it's just you know maybe just too difficult for them to use them depending on their strike pattern. Whereas that has the looks, it's got the feel of the forged head, but then you've got that little bit of help just underneath the, as I mentioned before, underneath that bonnet. feels great feels really good and i did enjoy hitting that in my review video um i think the whole mizuno range is very very strong for 2022 okay, we've seen that nice consistency of that carry number that's something we'd like to really sort of see in these these types of i think the player that wants to get that real consistency prediction of what it's coming out no real hot ones in there that just travel that bit further than the, especially when you don't want it to to do that good strike and i've pulled that that's me just shut the face down on that one I struck that really nice as well to be honest a bit more of a user error there unfortunately yeah so slightly close the face see that spin just drops it a little bit because of that just goes that little bit further again we know those little pull shots tend to go a little bit further i think you know again going back to that looks and, this, and the head size difference here and it's quite considerable to be honest so if you're something that a golfer maybe you know that that tight this might just give you a little bit of the ebgbs in a way <laughs> you know just looks a little bit too sort of compact a bit bit not confident inspiring this is definitely maybe one for you to go and sort of look at you, you know it's it's definitely a longer blade length it feels you a little bit more confidence behind the ball but still really nice shaping of the head okay that wasn't perfect the feedback's there the flight's just a little bit pushy a little bit of reaction to that last one i've just hit to be honest again very similar numbers okay let's go and check those numbers out between those two irons right okay so let's have a look at the uh, dispersion rings here so clear winner there and those oh no we've only hit five shots granted but a clear winner there with the tightest being much tighter in the white obviously had that pull one i just hit 
a hit and then obviously that uh, that reaction to it a little bit a couple of a slight leaky one's just not quite as good on that obviously that's more me than the actual club itself but the tight's just been a little bit tighter on that particular test and then if we have a look at the numbers you see club head speed absolutely identical as you're sort of going to expect touch slower than maybe normal center touch around that sort of 90 mile an hour mile an hour just short just a fraction down today it's a bit fresh down here at uh, penrith golf hub uh, ball speed you can see 122.2 with a Mizuno, 121.1, so not a lot of in it to be honest, one mile an hour quicker with the Mizuno. Launch absolutely identical, you can see the spin is absolutely identical as well and the distance is literally just that extra bit of yardage, probably just through that tiny bit of ball speed there, but look at this average, that could quite easily flip the other way if I did this retest again just through my differences of probably strike. Um, you see the height's very, very similar. Land angle, absolutely same, and efficiency is exactly the same. So as we can see there, nothing really splitting it in the performance of these two clubs, but the looks for me are quite different. And again, this is more you as an individual, how you would react to that, whether that small head is more desirable for you, or whether that bit that slightly larger head will give you a little bit more confidence. Again, you've got to go and test these, try them against each other, and make that decision yourself. So I appreciate you watching as always. There'll be another video popping up there, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.